Hello everyone, welcome to Manari TV. This is rubbish. Everything here is rubbish. I don't get it. Well, I can as well take all this rubbish home with me. Clara, you don't understand my predicament here, do you? That you cannot make up your mind on what to wear to go meet the prince? <laughs> sure, it is such an unfortunate predicament. And I really do feel your pain. I don't appreciate sarcasm, but yes, it's a predicament. First impression matters. He's not just an ordinary prince. He's a prince that has lived most of his years in the Western world. He has seen sophisticated women and lifestyle. I need to impress him. Don't you get it? I need to impress him. But everything here can easily impress any man, be he from the Mars, the Moon, or the Western world. You have always been a sophisticated lady. Babe, everybody knows that. So please do not let this prince guy get you all worked up. Clara, you don't Clara. get it. Clara, you don't... I hope she has some good news. Yes. That took forever. Alright. I'll look at them before you get here. I suppose that's your personal shopper. Yes. She sent me some pictures of the dresses she's coming with. Oh gosh. You're just a spoiled brat. Whatever. Huh. What are these? Excuse me, mama. Excuse you? Excuse you? How dare you beg my pardon? Are you a fool? Are you foolish? Are you stupid? I made it clear today. I made it clear that I want the best of my cars for my convoy. I didn't tell me you need the lottery. You are very stupid. Now go and do the nickel. You need it. Oh, 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 oh,
Let's go now. Eh? Go oh, where? Hey, hey. I've changed my mind. I'm not going anywhere again today. What happened? Our prince just arrived. He? I'm telling you, if you see cars, if you see people, if you see cars, ha, hey! I even heard that on Unuju, our billionaire's daughter. You know her now? Hey, I know her. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> she welcomed him. He? I'm telling you. Hey! hey. Is that why you're angry? Am I angry? Yes, I'm yes. happy for our prince. Uh, oh, go where? Home, go like this. No, I need to go and change. I need to look good because that party, that welcome party is not a small party. It's a very big event. In oh, fact, I need to look... Me, I would love to be there, Steph. I want to see things with me. What was that rubbish about? Exactly what you were supposed to do that you did not do. <sighs> did it ever occur to you that you should have informed or at least given me even the slightest clue that you were going to invite that girl to this? Occasion. Oh. It escaped my memory actually. Forget this youthful appearance. Your wife is getting old. So don't blame me. Blame this old woman's failing memory. I'm not going to stand here and pander to those your games. Go back there. Bring that girl out. Let her leave this palace. That party is meant for private people. Are you serious? She's going to get married to the prince. And that makes her part of this, your so-called private thing. Well, I want to tell you that your marriage will work only in your dream. And I want to tell you, my dear husband, that that's my dream will become reality. Come back to the party. Come back. get to have our private time. Busy day, huh? <laughs> hmm. This feels very comfortable. Have you tried lying on this bed yet? Not really. I know, right? You must be tired from the long haul flight. I wonder why they forced you to party with those old men after such a long trip. Well, I will be fine when I take my shower. Oh, fine. Go on. <laughs> I'll wait. I'm a very patient person. That is one of my good qualities that you will appreciate over time. <laughs> You're still here? Oh, you want me to help you clean up? Not really. What I need is some privacy, if you don't mind. Oh, sure. My prince. I see that you're a very shy person. So I'll give you some time to clean up and uh, get dressed. <laughs> I've waited. Thank you. <laughs> I'll be outside. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> 
What? What? What is it? Baby, calm down. I am supposed to be the one upset here and not you. You think? I was in a very important meeting and your call just disrupted it. I guess your meeting is more important than the one we are supposed to be having in an, another five minutes. You're supposed to be having a meeting? Come on, baby. Don't tell me you forgot. We scheduled to have lunch with mom today. And I'm here to pick you up and I was only told that you went out. Um, you, you can't do your schedule. I mean, we can have lunch with your mom some other time. Come on, darling. She went through a lot putting this together. It will only be unfair to cancel it. Just tell me where you are. I will come and pick you up. Hello? 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 I can hear you very clear. Where are you? I can't hear you. Hello? 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 Oh, yeah. All washed up. Oh yes, mother. Though I still feel some pain from long hours of staying in a flight. I know, I can understand, I can understand. I think, um, Honoruju, we'll come in here and show you what she can do with her magical fingers. How? I didn't know she's a massage therapist. Oh, she is everything you want her to be. She's a woman. My woman? Mm -hmm. She's the woman you're about to marry. She's your lover. You're everything. Hmm? <laughs> what I heard it there, I thought you were joking. I don't joke. I don't get you. Someone I'm meeting for the first time? Someone I practically know nothing about. Who does that in this age and time? Ujungwa, 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 stop this now. Nana, what is it? Why are you making my life difficult? Am I? Are you? Really? Nana, you're embarrassing me. People are watching. Don't you know who I am? You want to feed those hungry bloggers some content, right? Doing what? Three years. Three years of what I thought was a wonderful relationship. This is how you choose to end it? Is this what I deserve? Nana, don't... Don't... Don't be dramatic. I am not breaking up with you. I'm only asking for a break. A break from me? As if this is not a subtle way of breaking up. Juma, come on. What have I done wrong? I thought we were perfect together. You even said so yourself. Nana. 
I love you. Oh, please don't patronize me. I am not patronizing you. I love you and you know it. I'm only asking for some time to clear my head, to sort things out. And I need you to respect that. So what am I supposed to do? Wait indefinitely for you to sort yourself out and come back? Well, I'm not in the right position to tell you what to do. I only have control over what I want to do. And that, my sweetheart, I do not owe you explanation of. Have a nice day. Anyone would react the same way. I didn't take an oath to be with him for life, did I? I can't believe you're talking about Nana in this manner. You used to be crazily in love with him. Who says that has changed? <sighs> Come on, Clara, don't be dumb. You're my friend. I expect you to know better. Huh? Oh, I didn't realize this is about me now. Listen, I love Anana. But come on, girlfriend. We're talking about my future here. You cannot compare anyone to a Stanford University trained prince. Come on. This is my future we're talking about here. Think about it. Anana might not be a prince. Nor did he study in Stanford University. But he's equally well educated. And he's a successful CEO. What more? Look, you both have gone a long way. What do you even know about this Prince Uzodima? How are you sure this marriage is going to work between both of you? You want to throw away something you're sure of for something you're not even sure of. And you think I don't know that already? Girlfriend, I am not a fool. I know what I'm doing. That's why I didn't break up with Nana. I only asked for space to sort myself out. Yes. Space for you to get married to another man. Come on, Uju. And you think you wouldn't find out? You, you know what? En enough, enough. I've had enough of this conversation. It's either you're with my huh. decision or you're not. Please, I've had enough. It's fine. You can do whatever you choose to do. I don't care. Thank you. Now, can we plan about my big day that is coming very soon? Why is it Nana calling me? Please, you should stop calling me. In fact, you should lose my number today. Okay. And look at the prince that I've been trying to call. He's not taking my calls and he's not calling me back either. Would you just calm down? You have forever to spend with him. So why don't you just enjoy this moment? Wait, 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 wait. Calm down now. He's busy. Busy doing what? He's supposed to call to check on me. At least take my call if he can't call. What is this? Since oh. morning he has not called. Oh, Jude, this is the same person you will spend the rest of your life with. So why don't you just enjoy this moment? Enjoy it. I am so sure him and his people are getting ready. So just calm down. They'll be here soon. Let's see you back.
is going on? Are they here? Excuse us for a moment, please. Are they here? Excuse us for a moment. Oh, leave. Go, 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 go. Leave it and go. Come back. Uh, you mean just 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 a minute, please. Thank you. Mom, what's, what's happening? I am worried. I'm anxious. Are they here? What's going on? Princess Odema is not picking his phone. I called the Queen, but she said she couldn't talk. That she would call me back. Did you manage to speak with him? Not at all. I've tried severally to reach him. He's not taking his call. He's not calling me back. I don't know what is going on, mother. I don't know. <sighs> Let it not be what I'm thinking. I mean, he cannot abandon me today, mother. He, not today. No, 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 no. Lolo knows better than to allow that to happen. He does not. Besides, we had everything sorted out. Did we not? <sighs> mother. Prince Uzodema had his doubts about me and this marriage. He was practically forced into it. Let it not be that he ran away at the last minute. Mom, look at it. Maybe he played along all this while. Only Will you shut run up? up? Will you shut up and allow me to think for a moment? Mom, please don't shut me up. I know what I'm saying. The shame. The shame. What would people say? I said, shut up! Shut up! I remember. I remember. Hello? Are they here? What happened? What, what, what did they tell you? Talk to me, mother. What is it? What is going on? Our people said that the blacksmith who does not know how to forge a metal gun should look at the tail of a kite. What have we not done right? Afamefula. Rumor making rounds suggests that Stacy and his royal household are planning to have Prince Uzodema marry Chief Douglas Onyebuchi's daughter. The day the prince arrived and Lola said something in that line, we all thought she was joking. If you all have forgotten tradition, I haven't. Prince Uzodema was betrothed to Osita Dema's daughter the day he was born. Where is Osita Dema today? Well, I wouldn't know his whereabouts. The last time I checked, his house collapsed. And he was unable to either put a roof over his head or get help from anyone to do that. <laughs> Is there anything to turn up? It's here for Rufola. Let us know sir, time to discuss about Ustia Dima. A commoner. A dismissed school principal who could not fend for his family cannot be associated with royalty. And have you forgotten that our tradition is not class conscious? If it were class conscious, someone like you wouldn't be sitting here. Is that an insult or what? Take it is as that well. an insult? Take it as well if you, if, if you like. All right. Ah, all right. Then. What's all this? All right. Then. Alpha male. She. Alpha male. We cannot wait for a man who we do not know is what about. 
whether he is alive or whether he is dead. We cannot wait for his return before the prince takes a bride. Eh? Remember that we are talking about the prince of the land here. The heir apparent and the only son of royalty. He is supposed to take a bride, take a wife and get offspring that will be in the interest of this kingdom. Are you forgetting? When did we lose our sense of commonwealth coexistence? When did we stop being our brother's keeper? Ezeugo, if we do not know where our brother and his family are, is it not in your place to send a mistress to go in search of them? Exactly. Is it not? What are we talking here? I have heard you. I say I have heard you. I will make a move and we shall look for Ositadema and his family. Elders, have I spoken well? <laughs> I am glad there are still sane people among the council members. Hmm? But Ezogo must not allow desperation to get the better of him. What desperation? What desperation? The prince is still very young. Even if it takes 10 years to find Ositadema and his household, he will still be young enough to produce offsprings for the royal family. Forget it. Let's go, Abeg. Let's go. You see, this, this, these are things we talk about and people won't listen. People won't listen. My fellow elders, I don't understand why Ezugo will let Afami Funa detect how we run the affairs of this kingdom. <laughs> he simply drawing back the hand of the clock for us. Do not be fooled. Ezugo is trying to be diplomatic. You understand me? Diplomatic at whose expense? Oh. His own. <laughs> Shame on him. Mm. Look, let me tell you. Amongst three of us, it's only Afame Funa who is on the right track. I think the best thing is that the church is okay. It is high time you decide on whose part you want to be on. I'll stop being a chameleon. Ah. Me, chameleon. I can't understand you. Let us, let us say because of looking for Sidadima, and that's all. Our kingdom is beautiful, beautiful, but evil people want to destroy it. Mr. Bear, who Mr. is our family food? That you, Ezugo, would conform to his lousy suggestions. Ositadema and his stupid family must have died in that evil forest, and their corpses eaten by vultures. It's possible. It is possible, but I ask you again, why do you so desperately want this marriage between Onomutu and our son? Who wouldn't want to be associated with affluence? Affluence. At the expense of our tradition. A tradition made by man that can be changed by man. <laughs> simple as make it sound. Neither is it as difficult as you're making it sound. Listen, Ola, these are your people. These are your people. If they so desperately want to shop off, marry off their daughter to any man, let them go ahead and find a man, but leave my son out of it. Hmm. Izuko, don't try to mess with me. See this woman here? She's capable of doing anything. I have the powers to push anybody around, even you, and you know it. I 
am no longer going to do your bidding. I am no longer going to do your bidding. And any more pressure upon you, I will tell our son that I know you is not a rightful betrothed. One word from you to our son. And I will tell the whole world how you got on the throne in the first place. Don't push me. Is that what it is called? Please. <laughs> Do not worry yourself, okay? I will fix it. Alright? I said I will fix it. Am I not the one that called you? Oh. Yeah, you are. Um, let me call you back. Chats in a way. Come on, there. Is everything okay? Aren't you forgetting something? I don't think so. Like a date with Don Onuju, perhaps? No. That? Yes. That. Son, why are you not taking her seriously? You know that... You already know my standard days. I made it known from day one. I don't mean to be disrespectful, but this whole matchmaking concept does not work for me. I am an adult. I should be allowed to find a woman, fall in love with her, and make her my wife. Oh yes, assuming my whole heart is in this, you wouldn't be the one to tell me about a support date with my woman, would you? Come with me, sir. <laughs> Son, this tradition has been in existence even before your forefathers were born. So it is not matchmaking like you called it. Moreover, Ononujuako is a great lady from a wonderful background. She is everything you need in a woman. Mm -hmm. How do you know what I need in a woman? You call me mom, yet you asked me such a question. If I don't know my son, who will? On this occasion, you are wrong. She might be everything, but she's not my kind. How? Oh. When you have not given her a chance? Why judge a book by its cover? It's not my fault if a book possesses questionable threats from the outside. Is that transparent? I can see that from a distance. What questionable traits are you talking about here? Mother, never mind. Because even if I tell you, you will not see them. But just know that she is not my type. And as your mother, I am telling you that your judgment is beclouded by what you think of the tradition. Why don't you give her a chance? Try and bond with her. Get close to her. And I promise you, you won't regret it. You will like her. Promise me you'll do that one. Okay, I can't promise. No, no, no. You have to promise me here and now. Promise me. Okay. Can I at least think about it? 
you're thinking about it should start by a lunch date. So why don't you take your handsome self inside, get ready for that date? Mother, has anyone told you that you're a pain? Yes. Your father tell me that every time. So I'll, I'm used to it. <laughs> Excuse me. Alison, remember, do not keep a lady waiting on the first date, okay? And um, remember, don't go there with the mindset. Go with an open mind. Somebody, somebody, hi. Hey, Mom. Yeah. Is the food ready? Almost. Can someone please get the door? Oh yes, someone will definitely get the door. I be the press. <laughs> yes. What are you doing? Here? I didn't think you should have called me before coming to my house. Safe you've been picking my calls for the past few days. So? And as the young man that I presumed you to be, should I not tell you that she doesn't want to be that talk to you and see you? Good afternoon. You bring chaos to my house. And then you wish me a good afternoon. I bring chaos? With all due respect, Ma, I... I am in no need of your respect. Please. Mom, Mom, please, I, I can handle this. Please. If you handled it well, he wouldn't have been here by this time of all times. Do what is happening? I am lost. Leave before my guest arrives. Do what is going on? What do you mean, what is going on? I asked you to give me some time, didn't I? I expected you to respect that. But no, here you are, embarrassing me. Embarrassing you? Oh, yes, you are. Would you? I am embarrassing you. Don't you think I need explanation at least? She owe you no explanation. Please, leave before my guest arrives. Do you want me to release my dogs on you? Uh, uh, Mom, like I said, I have this under my control. Please, let me handle it. I said leave! Please, just find yourself and leave. Please, get out! Listen, Mom, I don't appreciate your interference. I don't. I could have handled this better. Are you out of your mind? Eh? What if the prince walks in on him? How do you explain that? How do you? Somebody, somebody, hi. Somebody, somebody. to freshen up. Now I'm ready to go make you happy. Really? Mm -hmm. Yeah, sure. What's that look on your face? Well, son, I understand and appreciate your simplicity. But that only works abroad. You're home now. You should dress to reflect who you are. Mother, I understand that, but uh, I'm only going out for a lunch date, not an official function. A very important lady, not just anyone. Come with me, sir. No, Mother, no. 
I can't deal with this. I can't. What can't you deal with? I only wanted to make you look your No. Name. You are trying to make me be someone else. First, you said I must go out on a date with this girl and possibly marry her. I agreed. Now, I can't even choose what to wear. My darling son. And mm -hmm. Who's on my No, no, mother. This will not work. This will not work. I, I can't deal with this. This will not work with me. If I must go out on this date, then I have to go the way I'm dressed. Else, you cancel the date. Oh, no, no, no. You are fine. This is wonderful. It's great. It shouldn't be a problem. Eh? No, no, no. You can go like this after all. The girl knows you already. She knows who you are. She's even in love with you. So, you can go like this. Yes, go, go. Good afternoon, Father. Did you? Greetings. I can see you're settling in well. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes. I guess he's uh, actually getting used to things around, huh? With the right people around him, he would settle in better. <laughs> Son. Sorry. Uh, do you want to sit with uh, Ichi and I? I'm sure there is something of interest. Huh? Let me too. As a matter of fact, uh, he would have loved to stay with you people about him. He has to go now. Yes. Uh, son, you know, you're running late already. And it is not good for you to keep a lady waiting. Son, are you going out? Yes, father. Mother insisted that I should go on a lunch date with Chief Douglas's daughter. That daughter of his actually has a name. And um, I would advise you to start calling her by her name so that you get used to it. Yes, excuse him. Sweet, so come on. That I guess I, I'll see you. Right? Yes, uh, let me see him to the car. I thought the union was suspended, ending when Mr. Roman's daughter is finished. Man hangs around our gate more often. He has been all over the palace, my friends. When I say all over, I mean all over. As you see him here, don't be surprised I get into your destination because of finding him. I do not understand what you mean by that. My prince, he's a very fast mover. We even call him the flying feet. Nobody knows where he comes from, but he has been around for a very long time. Not to worry. 
Let me handle him. Oh! Is this not the young man we've been waiting for all afternoon? Good afternoon, ma'am. I'm, I'm sorry for being late. I apologize. It was beyond my control. No, 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 no. It's okay. Don't worry. What's the problem? Please come and sit. Hi. Hi. This is for you. Ah. Western style. I like it. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, please sit. Thank you, ma. Um, you're welcome. Thank you, ma. Well, you you need no introduction, but allow me to introduce myself. Call me Lady Catherine, the mother of this beautiful lady here. Nice to meet you, ma. The pleasure is all mine. But like I said, Lady Catherine, not ma. <laughs> you look good. Thank you. And you too. Thank you. The table is set for lunch. Okay. Please join us. Come with okay. us. Okay. Join us for lunch. Let us put up at lunch today. No. Of course you can have her all to yourself. I don't mind. I'm sorry, Ma. If I sound rude. Not at all. You're not sounding rude. As a matter of fact, you're supposed to have a private time together. Feel free, please. Thank you. <sighs> Shall we? Thanks again. You're welcome. Somebody, somebody. What is wrong with two young people having a hamlet's lunch? And I was the last to know about it. Ezugo, please. Already you have your hands full with matters of this kingdom as the king. You don't expect me to bother you with frivolities. It's as far as you're concerned, it's, it's normal for you that I shouldn't know what you do with our son, the prince, and And you know that the elders in council have something to say about the situation. I'm not part of your plans with your lousy elders. Their own should not interrupt mine. Do your thing, please. Let me do my thing. Unfortunately for you, you are not at liberty to do whatever you think you want to do with the prince. He belongs to the kingdom. I carried him in my womb for nine months. I gave birth to him. I suckled him. I nurtured him. Let us see how far the elders will go in this battle. Excuse me. Somebody, somebody, hey. As your go is too decent to go against his words. Are you calling me a liar? I wouldn't dare. But given on the side you were on at our last meeting, I am surprised you are telling me about what you supposedly saw at the palace. Afa, I don't belong to any group. What I crave for is for the progress of this kingdom and nothing more. Indeed. It's obvious that Lolo is fish for Uzodima and Douglas's daughter's marriage. That is no news to me, Ichi. We were all there on the prince's arrival when she introduced the lady as his betrothed. <coughs> How were you not? Now, Lolo is have arranged for a lunch date between two of them. Ezugu became helpless when he heard of the date. I could let you go on and on each year. Honestly, I am getting irritated. What exactly do you want me to do from this piece of information that you have brought me? Look, I thought I should relate to an elder 
and he chill like me. I never knew I was wasting my time. Well, I so much appreciate your efforts choosing me among the men in council to relate to. But then, nothing has changed with the plans in place to go in search of Osita the man. I, I do not see how whatever you saw or heard changes anything. Or does it? Hmm. I thought I was talking to a better person. I never knew I was just merely wasting my precious time. I live with your frustrations. Ichi <laughs> Maruke, when it's obvious that the goals cannot be reached, don't adjust the goals. Rather, you adjust your action steps. Nonsense. Idiots! I am Afa Mifune. Who is the idea for number? <laughs> Papa? Oh, my son, you are back. You love me. Uh, what have you done to upset your friend? <laughs> you should know your father too well. I am not the side man. I go to the straight one. <laughs> I am not a chameleon like that. The, how was your trip to your mother's place? Fine. Uh, I want to send her regard. I know. <laughs> anyway, sit down. Let's talk more important things. Okay, but you know what? Uh, let me drop my bag. Okay, I'll be right back. Guys, <laughs> hey, Alpha Mefune, Mweze, Adiyefuna. Here. Okay, that's fine. Come inside. Come in. Hi, girl. What's Hi. up? I'm fine. I was just trying to rest before you call. Oh, I'm so sorry. Hope I didn't wake you up. No, no, no that's fine. But you're still going though. Why aren't you dressed? I thought I told you I don't work on Sundays. And who is talking about work? Have you forgotten I told you I would be taking you out today? Oh, <laughs> yes, that is right. I totally forgot, sorry. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's fine. Let me quickly take a shower then. I'll be with you shortly. Take all your time. <laughs> all right. Make yourself at home. Yeah, come in. The door is open. Oh. Well, son. Mother. Are you going out? It looks like it. Where are you going looking this Ashton? <laughs> Thank you, mother. Well, let's just say that um, the date you organized has given birth to another date. So congratulations, mother. Are you going to see Ananuja? Do you object to that? Oh no, not at all. <laughs> as long as it is Ananuja, go ahead, I love it. Thank you, mother. <laughs> well, one persuasive woman that I love told me that I should give a lady a chance. And I'm doing my very best to do that because I love her. And I love you too, son. Thank you. Well, does the driver know that he's taking you? Uh, yes, about that. I'll be driving myself. I'll renew my license so that I'll be able to drive myself more often. Well, that's nice. Just be careful, okay? Thank you, mother. I love you. I love you, son. Mwah. Mwah. After you. <laughs> <laughs> One more. 
All right. I'm all set. Wow. You look so good. Oh, sweetie. I always look good. <laughs> I see. Okay, let's go. It seems you like taking a lot of pictures. Oh, yes. I like capturing every moment. You know, it's a lifestyle. <laughs> so good. All right. There you go. <laughs> you mean as she entered? Uh, uh, she... Sweetie, why don't you just go with mine? Hmm? Um, please. <laughs> this is my car. It's just um a seat out. I'll bring you back, okay? If you don't like this one, we can go with this. Yeah, I'll go with the range. I insist we go with my car, please. <sighs> okay, let me open it for you. Right. Oh, oh, you! I, I, I should enter. Oh yes. I will drop you back. Okay. You have nothing to worry. Uh, you sure you don't mind? Ah, oh, let me take you. We we'll just sit at the back seat where my driver takes us. I am a gentleman. Let me take you to the car. Okay. Uh, Let's go. Okay. All right. The AC is working. Do not worry. The AC is working. Let's go now. Okay. I, I should sit, right? convoy. <laughs> they are coming with us. <sighs> Do you have any problem with that? I don't think it's necessary. <sighs> well, like I said, they are coming with us. Why do you need a convoy to follow us? It's just a seat out. I'll bring you back. Hello. I am a wealthy man's daughter. Do you know what is security? My father cannot afford for anything to happen to me. Anything. And what can possibly happen to you in this kingdom? Our kingdom is a peaceful kingdom. I said I will bring you back. Moreover, going with a convoy attracts unnecessary attention to you. Sweetie. Wherever I go, my convoy goes with me. That's my father's decision, not mine. Thank you very much. Okay. She 
It's not your fault. Like I said, I will talk to her and get back to you. I just have this feeling that there's another man. Come on, Nana. Don't run into conclusion. She just asked for some time, so... Exactly. Some time for what? To see another man? No. It is not always about another man. So don't burden yourself with such thoughts. She only requested for some time, so I just feel we should wait and see what happens. It's okay. I am off to Germany next week. Um, maybe that will help me get her off my mind. Hopefully by the time I return, she might be ready to talk or something. I hope so too. And make sure you enjoy your trip. Thank you so much. You're welcome. You want me to take you home? No, no, I have to be someone with my brother. So you'll be here in a moment. Oh! oh. 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 It's very noisy here, can't you see? Let's find a place that is very convenient and calm. Okay. Where do you have in mind? Well, I'm not familiar with the hangar spots in town, but I trusted you to find a very convenient and calm place for us to talk. Uh, okay, well, the place is further away from here. No problem, let's go, please. Okay? Okay. So what do you do for a living? Hello? Oh, the food. Mm. Very tasty. I like it. But I know the food is thirsty, but that wasn't my question. I asked, what do you do for a living? All right, I'm a social media person with over two million followers. Oh, mm. interesting. Thank you. You're welcome. So, so what company or you know, product has been your biggest gig? Oh, please. I don't work with any company. I have my fans. They are crazy about my content. They are crazy about me. Take, for instance, what happened today at the bar. That's what I get whenever I'm out and about. That's what I live for. So how do you make money from that? Oh, please. What lousy money can I possibly get from my hungry fans? I don't need your money. I give them money. 
in essence you have no job you earn money from doing excuse me my prince but i kind of feel insulting here i mean what job can i possibly be doing my father employs people to do all the jobs. Hello? Somebody, somebody, hi. Somebody, somebody, hi. Somebody, somebody, hi. Somebody, somebody, hi. Oh. Here you are, son. I've been looking for you all over the palace. What a, is there any particular reason you look for me? Honestly, my ears are itching to hear how your date went. Oh, that. Yes, that. Well, uh, it was revealing. What does that mean? It means that it gave me the opportunity to confirm that she is not the woman for me. How is that Emma? Okay, let me educate you. No woman is already made. You have to mold her into what you want her to be. I know that, mother. But that is for your generation. What worked for your generation is not obtainable now. That lady in particular, the lady we are talking about has nothing to offer other than shaking her bum on social media. Son, it is called twerking. That is what most girls do these days. Do not crucify her because she's following the trend. No. I agree. Ah. That's how low our society has gone. I equally know that so many people make money on social media by doing stuff like that. But her case is different. Zadema, you are just doing everything possible to run that girl down. Why? I'm trying to know why. That girl is a good girl, though. Let her take her goodness to another man. She is not the right woman for me. I don't want her. Well, unfortunately, you don't have a choice here. According to tradition, you marry her. But I'm not interested. I don't want to have anything to do with someone that shakes her palm and do not even earn anything for it on social media. Money, please. I was actually on my way to your house. I hope all is well that you are coming to my house. Ah, all is not well, is it, Dibia? Uh -huh. Is it not only the stupid weather bed who challenges his chi to a fight after he has been fed fight? You have spoken correctly. Hmm. Is the pride of the monkey not in his knowledge of the three tops? <laughs> And our pride as men lies in our customs and tradition. The unthinkable is about to unfold before us as we speak right now. As I talk to me in a plain language. As you go, he's planning to have a son marry Chip Douglas Onyebuchi's daughter. And if you know originally, when the glorious dice is cast, the prince was betrothed to Sitadema Mguizu's daughter. Uche Gaudia, 
Mm. Was it at the Mount Blues? The one that disappeared many years ago? Yes, indeed. Is he back? He isn't. But nobody knows his whereabouts. As you go, he's about to make a very big mistake. A very big, disastrous mistake. Is it a Get if I get me. I see a few fake Hello, Oba. Anya. Come with me. I'm gonna. Hello, where are you going? I'm gonna go to the bar. Hmm? 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 I said, no one no you can model a moji in the car. A jam. A poke and kunu come with the room. It's me, Zoom one in a canoe, who is kunu, where they can look at you. No penia. No penia. A jam, a jam, a jam, a nail for you. Ufu kwa, na kwa ni iru iru kwa wana ama, iru iru kwa wana ama, na kwa ni iru kwa ina eja. Ua! Brrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
Our kingdom is beautiful, beautiful. But evil people. Want... How am I supposed to know you'll be there with the prince at that time? Clara, you are supposed to. You are my friend. And you know that that lounge is my favorite hangout spot. It is Nana's favorite hangout spot. He asked me to meet him there. So, he, he, he saw me with the prince. What do you care anyway? What do you mean, what do I care? That my boyfriend saw me with another man. You're asking me, what do I care? <laughs> and how is this funny to you? Uh, I am surprised it is not funny to you yourself. You have a prince at your beck and call. And yet you are crying over a man you threw away like trash. Oh, please. Girlfriend, this is very hilarious. Stop it. Clara, I did not throw Nana away. I only asked for a space. Just a space. <laughs> of course. You're trying to play smart. Just in case it doesn't work out between you and the prince. But I am here to remind you that you cannot eat your cake and still have it. <sighs> anyway. No point in worrying my pretty head. Because things are beginning to look good between the prince and I. Mm -hmm. I am sure that pretty soon, wedding bells will ring. <laughs> That's what you're supposed to be talking about. Mm -hmm. And not crying over one nana guy. You've always had what you desire. I know, right? So, I wish you good luck with this one. Thank you. Right. Now, don't try this next time. Because I won't take it. Hey. Hey, <laughs> leave me alone. You just oh. pissed me off. Sorry. So, I have a just... Leave me, I don't want to hear. If the oracle wanted us to find him, it would have told us where, or at least given us a clue. Ezuko, the oracle's silence is a punishment on us. Didn't you hear me when I said that? I heard you. I heard you, Ezuko. I heard you loud and clear. Oh, see that was not ill-treated. Igwe, did you say Osita Dema was not ill-treated? A man whose all his landed assets were taken away from him? Completely everything was taken away from him, Igwe. When he asked for help, Nobody could give him a lending hand. Igwe, what was his crime? A learned commoner and a struggling man. Igwe, you said he was not ill-treated. Yes, but all that is not enough to keep my son's life at a standstill. Look at that. Consider that also. To hold on your son's marriage arrangements until the oracle says so he will. I take my leave. Greetings, Ezedibe. Father, is there anything in the matter? Mm. No, nothing. Nothing. I. As a DV, I just came to give me a message. That's all. For the past few days, I hear nothing but arguments from this courtyard. Arguments. People must argue back and forth. Yes. And some of that argument uh, may well be to further the interest of this kingdom. Um, if I may ask, Father, 
does this argument have anything to do with the marriage arrangements? No. Not at all. Very well then. But I've come to to check if you could help me talk to mother. I am not comfortable the way she's going about this marriage thing. She's putting so much pressure on me and I'm, I don't like it. Please help me and talk to her. I want her to stop immediately. Son. Son, I... I don't know how I can do that and uh, I cannot guarantee you that I will be able to stop your mother. Yes. Why not? Um, let's not just go into uh, you know, gymnastics with words. Um, what one does not know is greater than him. I do not understand what you mean by that. Sam, at the end of all this, you, you are the person that will live with a girl. The decision to go ahead or not to go ahead is yours. Are you implying that I have the right to refuse this whole marriage arrangement? The tradition doesn't matter anymore. Ah, uh, no, son. Do not put words in my mouth, please. I didn't come here to get more confused and frustrated. This is what it is. Who's that in Who's that in what is it? Who's that I'm talking to you? What do you want? What do you want? What has come over you? Stress and frustration has come over me, mother. Stress and frustration. And I have you to thank for that. Really? You are stressed and frustrated because you want to be. What is wrong with allowing someone love you? Mother, huh? please, I'm not cut out for this. What do you want? Okay. I just got off the phone with Onoluchu and she complained that you have not been taking her calls. Oh yes, it has to be about Onoluchu. Since I came back from the States, have you called me as your son? Have you talked to me as my mother and asked me how I'm faring or discussed about my personal issues? It's always about Onoluchu this, Onoluchu that, please. Stop that already. No. Mother, please stop it. No, I will not stop. I will not stop until you come to terms with the fact that Ononuju is a huge part of your life. What is this? Listen, I am this lenient with you because of the love I have for you. Now I want you to pick up your phone and do the needful. Call her. I don't ever want her to complain about you again. Is that clear? I don't know, but uh, I suspect uh, Afame Funa. That fool? That imbecile? 
Why is he always interfering in our family affairs? Why? This is not exactly a family affair. It concerns the whole kingdom. One mistake can cause a serious calamity that will destroy the entire kingdom. Spare me that. Who decides what calamity befalls the kingdom? It took me so many years to build the relationship we have today with the Onyebuchis. Why are those fools messing everything up for me? Why? If you go ahead with this plan, the entire community will burn. Don't do that. I don't care. No, I don't. Paula. Wives of royal men who later became queens did so because they were chosen not by men, not by us, but by the oracle. It happened in our own case and you know it. You were chosen to be my wife at birth. Why are you lecturing me on something I already know? Because you are trying to alter the course of tradition which you are already familiar with. Spare me that jargon. Ezugo, who made tradition? Man. The same man is capable of changing it when it is no longer useful. I want it to go down in the annals of history that I, Lolo, Oladima changed this one. Zambale, zambale, hai. Zambale, zambale. clubbing this early. Oh yes, I'm clubbing all by myself in my room, doing what I know how to do best. Oh. Shouldn't this call be a distraction then? Oh no, boo. <laughs> Talking about clubbing, why don't you come with me to the club tonight? Like you already know, I get the VVIP pass. Unfortunately, I, I have a business proposal that I would want to attend to today, so I will pass. What do you need a business proposal for? Well, unlike you, that have a wealthy man as a father that doesn't think you should work and earn a living. I have none, so I have to work in order for me to earn a living. That's not true. If you decide to work, that's because you want to work, not because you need to. Come on, honey, listen up. Besides, clubhouses don't buy. Club is fun. And like you know, fun is an essential part of life. Why don't you allow me pass this time? I'll make it up with a lunch tomorrow, okay? I'll test you time and place. Mm, all right. That's good. That's better than nothing. At least I get to see your dreamy eyes again. <laughs> I have to go now. I'll talk to you later, okay? Not a problem. Take care of yourself. I love you. How rude.
He didn't even say anything to that. Whatever. Baby, fire, 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 fire. You get that plenty, fire, fire. Why not, why not? Baby, why not, why not? Why not, why not? You get that plenty, fire, fire. Why not, why not? I've been a jumma, a jumma. You too hot like summer vita, summer vita. I've been a jumma, a jumma. Um, you see, this particular scene, the script says to get an aerial shot of this particular scene with a drone. The director, I think he's right. He says it's going to be off if we yeah, try to. Yeah, yeah. From what I see here, the director is absolutely right. I agree with the director. Using a drone would not fit the same. Yeah, but what the director has proposed is, is totally off the table. It's not an option because I wouldn't want to put you in such risk. Yes, but remember, it's the director's film. So what is your alternative? Because as a cinematographer, I can particularly tell you that this scene is important and there is no way we'll take it off. Yeah, that's... Yes, and we can't take it off. That's exactly why we're in this week. But, but, compared to what the director has said, I will just choose the drone. No. You see, the drone will not give us the required angle we need for this scene. So, it's not an option. It will not, but it will have to suffice, unfortunately. I mean, it's, it's a pretty long one. I didn't bring you to Nigeria to kill you. <laughs> but, sweetheart, that is not how I work. Listen, I know it's a bit difficult, but I will have to do what the director suggested. <laughs> You mean you will get on a moving vehicle to film? Mm -hmm. No. Martha, no, I will not. I mean, have you even done that before? No. But I promised you a professional job. And besides, it's going to be like a learning curve to me anyways. So it's fine. Tomorrow we'll shoot that same. I have to risk it anyways. Are you sure about this matter? Because I'm not. I'm not sure. I mean. But we can give it a try. Listen, sweetheart. I promised you a professional job. And I am not going to let anything spoil that. This is my work. So let me do what I know how to do best. Okay? Okay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. You're my hero. I said. <laughs> But wait, I, we are going to, you know, evaluate the risk before we try it on set. Sure, that's, that's not a problem. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Let me allow you guys to sleep. Tomorrow is going to be a tough day. Cool. 9.30 a.m. in the morning. 9.30, short time. Thanks once again. You're welcome. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Right. Zambele, Zambele, hey. Zambele, Zambele, hey. Zambele, Zambele. I am sorry for people. I have some friends visiting in my house. And some late. How are you doing today? Anyway. I brought you some food. I want to come out. What? I want to come out of the discourse and review who I am. With everything that is going on in the palace right now, you can't. Not now. When the time is right, I will be the one to bring you out. I found it difficult to trust you. I came to you on my arrival, thinking that you could be trusted, but not anymore. There's some information you're hiding from me. 
and now you won't even let me come to your house. Why? Uh, you don't need to be upset. I am simply protecting you, and you know it. Protecting me? What is going on in Chia Farm? Huh? And I noticed there is a young man who newly arrived at the palace. Who is he? Obika, listen. The less you know, the better for you. We had a plan, and we are going to follow it through. Can you still trust me? When the time is right, you will definitely come out and take your rightful place. But that time isn't now. Do not betray me, Ichi Afan. Do not betray me. I have been through a lot to see myself at this point. And I will not be happy to find out that you betrayed me. I made you a promise. And I am keeping it till the end. I'm much of a go. I kill him, I kill him, I kill him, I kill him. I'm much of a go. Sport. Please call me when you get this, okay?
actually called so we can discuss about our children's marriage arrangement. Well, every other thing is on course. There's just a little problem that has to be taken care of. Why am I not surprised? What could the problem be? Hi, Tracy. Oh, no, no, no. No. I can't make it. I'm still knocked out from last night. Yes. Besides, I have a date with the prince. Yes, I have a date with him by... Oh my goodness, let me call you back. Let me call you back, please. Seven missed calls from the prince. Who are those gullible elders? What makes them think they have a say in this matter? Do they actually know who is involved? But you don't have to blame them. What do they know? Where have they been to? All of them have been confined in this kingdom. And that is how low their mentality is. Every one of them is talking about tradition. What nonsense tradition? Lolo, I think you've not done your homework well. You see those men, they will choose money over their useless traditional beliefs at any point. You don't want to know. I have thrown some millions out there. I am not talking about money for snuff or palm wine. I'm talking about good money. Look, I would not allow them mess with our children's happiness and future. And for that reason, First thing tomorrow morning, I will credit your account with 5 million naira. Oh, that's nice. Thank you. Thank you so much. That money will go a long, long way. All right. Um, I'll call you back. Hey, Mom. What's going on? I, the place has been waiting for me in the restaurant, so... And I mean, I was hungover from last night. I, I, I didn't take his call. Now I'm trying to call him back and he's not taking my... I guess he's upset. <sighs> so what are you up to now? I'm going to the restaurant to meet him. No, I... I doubt if he will still be there since he's not taking your calls. <sighs> okay. Yes, just calm down, okay? Relax. Let me call Lolo. I believe she can talk to him, then he will listen. Okay? Mom, are you sure about this? Trust me on this. Okay. Let me go. Let me go back to sleep. I'll see you. Okay, thanks, Mom. All right. Taking her groups. Excuse 
You should take her calls and hear her own side of the story. She's sorry for standing you up. Obviously. She is. She had a very bad hangover from her clubbing last night and um, she slept all through morning into late afternoon. Mother, look at how comfortable you are telling me that the woman you want your son to get married to had a hangover from clubbing. Come on, it can happen to anyone. No. It can't happen to the woman that I will call my wife. Come on, son. There is nothing wrong with clubbing. I agree with you. There is nothing wrong with clubbing. But this lady in particular clubs for a living. Oh yes, that's what she does. Drinking, dancing, and taking pictures for the girl. How do you want me to end with that? Hold on a minute. Let us get something straight here. Why are you mad? Are you mad because she stood you up? Or because of the kind of lifestyle she has chosen for herself? Or are you just being judgmental here? Mother, I am mad because you of all people seem not to understand me, seem not to see that I, your son, deserves better. My son deserves better than the daughter of a billionaire? Is that what you're saying? You think I'm stupid? I know what I am doing. I have everything worked out. This is one family that will stand solidly behind you when you eventually become king. Cut off that you're short-sighted. I should be able to find happiness first before talking about money. <laughs> money is nothing to me. All I need is happiness. And with that girl, Mom, I will know no happiness because our lifestyles are totally different. Zodima, I am sorry for you. I am really, really sorry for you. Because your myopic mind has messed up your life. But you should thank your stars that you have a mother like me who is here to guide you. Listen, just pick up your phone, call her, and accept her apology. Mother, I do not need her apologies. I think it's high time I went back to the States. If that is all that I need to gain my happiness, my peace, and my sanity. You dare not to so them, man. Don't dare me. I better be at my room. I'm sorry. Zambale, Zambale, hi. Zambale, Zambale, hi. Zambale, Zambale, hi. Zambale, Zambale, hi. Troubled. Now, son, I'm just admiring the wonderful gift of nature. Isn't it beautiful? Father, I'm not a child. Remember? I've watched your moods fluctuate these past few weeks. I try to connect with you 
as your son, but you kept on dismissing me. What is going on? Father, I ask, what is going on? If there is anything you are contending with, I think I am in the right position to know about it. Mm. Sam, listen, as your father, there is absolutely nothing to worry about. Nothing is happening. Okay? Okay? Good. So, are you bonding with uh, Mamiju? There wasn't any bonding. I tried spending time with her, but it didn't work out. I can't see myself falling in love with her, let alone marrying her. But then, tradition is always thrown at my face. See, one thing our heart doesn't tell us is that love is about feelings. Mm -hmm. Love is sometimes like commitment. Father, why do I have this feeling that there is more to this marriage arrangement? than fulfilling the tradition. With the way mom is going about it, I think she's more interested in it for her own gains than fulfilling the traditions. Is that it? Son, these are your thoughts will do none of us any good, okay? My queen, uh, what is this money for? It is for you. Mm -hmm. For me? Calm down. What? I know you have never seen such amount of money in your life yes but i have come to turn your life around but you need to do something for me whatever you want Lola. i got you to do it i promise i will do it okay okay i want you to support my son to marry douglas Obuchi's daughter hey. Hey, no, no. Hey. there is no problem about that I can give you my support. You and I know what the tradition says. <laughs> we are not talking about the tradition here. We are talking about money. Yes, money. Money, yeah. So, make your choice. Are you doing what I'm asking you to do or should I go with my money? My queen, I'm in a very delicate situation right now. Mm. I don't even know what to do. But I will gladly give you my support. I will support you and take the money. Hold on, yeah. hold on, hold on. You have to make your choice. You can't stand on both sides. Are you supporting me? Yes, actually, or not? Actually, I, 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 I know what to do to balance both situations so that I will be on both sides. Eh? Take your choice. Are you for me? The money. Or against me? No, for you. The money. I will give you my support. I, I will give you my support, Lord. Give me the money. You don't mess me. You don't try to mess me. Lord. If you do, you will not like what I'll do to you. The money. The money, you have my support. Did you hear what I said? Yes, Lord. Give me this money. Hang on. Allow me to give it to you myself. Okay. Want to snatch it? No. You will do it? Yes, I will. You have my support. You will do it. I will do it. Are you sure? I promise. If you try to mess me up, I will mess you. I will mess you up. Give me the money. Hold well on. Let me hand it over to you. Hey. Okay. Thank you. Remember, you already have my support like June 12. I will give it to you. Hi. 
I brought you this gift, Ichia Famifu. I brought you a gift. One million naira. All for you. I am trying very hard to understand the kind of service I have rendered to you to have deserved such a thing. Let's just say it's a token from me to you for your support. What kind of support are you talking about? You want me to say things the way they are? Lolo, as far as I know, I have not done any work for you. Please take your money. Maybe you are mistaking me for someone else. If those fools who call themselves elders in council have sold their dignity for pieces of crumbs, I will not. You and I know that you have never seen such amount of money in one day. Why are you calling it pieces of crumbs? All I'm saying is that this money here is too small for an Ichi like me to go against the tradition. I see. Now I understand. I'll double it. You either don't get it, lol. You don't. Are you trying to test my patience? I will not support you to have the prince marry the wrong woman. I will not. That is my stand. Uh, Lolo, let me ask you. There are two types of people in life. Those who ate their lives and do something about it. And those who ate their lives and do nothing about it. Which type are you? Even if the king comes to me with such nonsense you have come to me with, I will do the same. The fear of death follows the fear of life. A man who lives fully is prepared to die at any time. That is it. Take my leave. He just walked out and it mean You will regret this. Trust me. to a madman. Perhaps you're real you're not supposed to be seen with him. Let me have the food. My prince, don't tell me he's the one you asked for the food for. I said let me have the food. But my prince, can we at least empty the food into a bag or something else? You can't give me food in, in this dish. Oh, 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 oh. Come back, okay? Come back. I mean no harm. This is for you. Oh yes. I am sure this will take you through today. Thank the one person I didn't assume would join in pushing this madness. 
You heard what Ezedibia said. Yet, you want us to go ahead with this plan. You confuse me, Your Majesty. Are you for or against the marriage? What that supposed to mean? I mean, what kind of question is that? And you expect me to answer it? You know there will be dire consequences if tradition is bypassed. But tradition has been bypassed over time. And people go unpunished. This will not be an exception. No, what's that supposed to mean? To have seen his face when I hit him with that piece of classified information. He never uttered a word until I left his presence. <laughs> Good job, Yagazi. Good job. Exactly the effects I hoped for. Good job. Thank you. And um, what about our family Funa? How did it go with him? None. That is one hard nut to crack. He almost set me on fire when he asked me to get out of his house. So bad for him then. Just like the stubborn fly. He will end badly. Well, Lolo, I will leave him to you. But going back to the king, was he actually responsible? He had a hand in Ulysses' death. Um, Yagaze, that is as much as I want you to know. Just forget the details, okay? Forget it. Well, I know Igwe will not do such a thing. But what baffles me is why we, you will use such an information against him. And why he reacted the way he did. Well, I think this meeting is over. I'll leave now. What was that? My driver almost knocked you down, you know. Lola, I have a message for you from the God. And did they tell you to die in the process? Lola. Oh, please. If the message you're here to deliver is that important, then go straight to the point and stop your useless adages. The oracle speaks with a fat. The order lingers after the word must have been spoken. Lolo desists. Desists. Lolo desists. Mupupanaka and the Nofa to Paula come Take me out of here. 
Has it come to the point where you go about bribing important members of, of the council? And how did you get that information? Honestly, you have to stop. Right now, the prince is even beginning to ask questions. Really? If he is asking questions, that means he has realized that you are a chameleon. Is that what you think? That is what I know. And that is what it is. Please, I have more serious things to think about. I don't have time for this. Well, now stop it. Will you stop moving me about like a pawn in a game of chess? Just stop it. Father. Mother. Is there any problem? No, 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 not at all. Your father and I are having a hard to hard talk. Oh. Something is definitely going wrong between the. Hola, has it come to this? Has it come to the point where you go about bribing important members of? of the council. And how did you get that information? Honestly, you have to stop. Right now, the prince is even beginning to ask questions. Really? If he is asking questions, that means he has realized that you are a chameleon. Is that what you think? That is what I know. And that is what it is. Please, I have more serious things to think about. I don't have time for this. Well, now stop it. Will you stop moving me about like a pawn in a game of chess? Just stop it. Father. Mother. Is there any problem? No, 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 not at all. Your father and I I have any hard to hard talk. Oh. Something is definitely going wrong between the two of them. I've been saying sorry since I came. How long before you accept my apology? You obviously do not understand that this is more than just you continuously standing me up. There are more important aspects of this relationship, if I may call it that, that troubles me. All right, put me through, please. Maybe you don't see it, but I think that this marriage is not for us, but for our parents' personal interest. I don't know about that, but I know what I want, and that's you. And how are you sure that I am what you want? I mean, for how long have we known each other? You see, my friends, a heart that finds what completes it does not know time. I know that you're uncomfortable with this relationship because of my lifestyle. That is what is holding you back. But I am here to tell you that I'm ready to make amends. I'm ready to change my lifestyle. I'm ready to be whatever you want me to be. That's enough sacrifice, right? I'm ready to do that because I love you. Yes. 
I love you. Zammele, zammele, hay. Zammele, zammele, hay. Zammele, zammele, hay. Zammele, zammele, hay. May your reign be long, your highness. I know. I sure will live long. But I don't know about you. What did you just say? Well, Afa Mefuna, a ship is about to sail. It might leave you behind. But if you say right here and now that you have changed your mind, it will pick you up. Lolo, you don't have any right to come to my house to threaten me. You may be royalty. But this town is mine as well. And I owe our ancestors an obligation never to watch someone like you mess it up. Good. Good. Let's see how it works for you then. Those who are afraid of taking risk in life are like fish in the ocean, afraid of being beaten by the raindrops. Life itself is a risk. Lolo. It is better you light a candle than to cause the darkness. I still maintain my stand. What are these frequent visits from Lola all about? And each time she visits, she seems to live very angry. It's nothing to worry about, my son. Uh, let me quickly rush the way I'm going before it gets late. Our kingdom okay. is beautiful, beautiful. But evil people want to destroy it. Ever since I came back, I always noticed you at this spot. And you are very peaceful too. You are very young. I'm more concerned about you. Something in me tells me you can be helped. My friend, I know you understand me. You may be mentally unwell, but you are understanding is still intact. Well, I am Prince Uzodema, the prince of this land. I want to be your friend, okay? I will help you. Just give me the chance, I will help you. Okay? My friend. Who 
We are done with the youth meeting, eh? and we are sent to go to the palace to meet Igwe. But there is need for you to come with us, yes, as the direct victim, so you can pour out your grievances, pour out your mind, say your mind to the king. Am I right, or what do you think? You are right. You are right. Um, let's do nothing now. We also get to the palace. I want you to be bold enough to tell the king your mind, because all we need is justice. Yes. Come now, my brother. You have to take heart. I know how it is. But when we get to the palace, the Igwe will definitely see what to do for me. Yes, your father cannot just like die like that. Let's go. To what do we owe this unfriendly visit? Your Majesty, my heart is heavy. In his house, under the same roof that gave him shelter for years, my father was sneaked in on and strangled to death. You all cannot sit and fold your hands as if nothing happened, when apparently a murderer is living with us here in this kingdom. Joshua. Um... Elders... Youths of our land... In as much as we are all heartbroken. Heartbroken with the death of one of our own, who is your father. Uh, it will be spurious for us to conclude based on your evidence, you know. For all we care, your father may have simply died in his sleep. Your Majesty, the only evidence could have been bringing the killer before you all. But unfortunately, I couldn't get a hold of him that night. But I can swear on my life that I saw the assailant disappear into the darkness. Hey, whoever that did this, Your Majesty, we demand that you investigate and bring him or her to justice. Yes. Yes, Igwe. All we seek is justice. Youths of our land. Igwe. Uh, we want to promise you, we want to assure you that this matter will be investigated thoroughly. We will not fold our hands and watch. No, We've no. not been doing that. No. We will look into this matter. Yes, if any perpetrator is found, be rest assured that such a perpetrator will be brought to, to justice. He will be punished according to the laws of this land. Yes. Thank you, Igor. Thank you. The lazy youths. That is where you see them. Yes. A man does not die naturally anymore. Not. What is going on? Exactly, but which is exactly why his death should be investigated. 
Yes, he need the poor man. Hmm. Evil looms. And anarchy is upon us. Evil men are on rampage. Words of the oracle. He wears will go like an M. Words from the oracle for you. As a go. The oracle said you should brace up. Step up and wipe off the shame of this land. Is it in what is expected of me? What is it I'm supposed to do? What do they want me to do? I am confused. As a DBI, I am also deeply worried. Atwala, Malo, Malo. Hmm. The oracle speaks with facts. Can you perceive it? Enolisia, Raiwe. You did it. <laughs> the oracle awaits you. Our kingdom is beautiful, beautiful. But evil people want to destroy it. Ah, greetings, Ezedibe. Prince Ozodema. The head that will wear the crown someday. You appear to be so calm concerning the calamity that is coming to this land. Is that what Western life has done to you? I do not understand, Ezebibe. Is there anything I'm doing that I'm not supposed to be doing or neglecting to do? Wisdom. But that is if only the evil hands will allow this wisdom to yield fruits in this land. Princess Odima, preparations are ongoing for the return of your bride. How is that coming? Well, uh, as a debate, unfortunately, I. I am not fully involved in the so-called preparations. I think my mother will be in the right position to answer that. Every man is expected to be fully involved in issues concerning his heart, life, and future. Only if that man is allowed to make decisions about the things that involve his heart and future. Princess of the man. You need to pay me a visit. We have a task to fulfill. Make it a priority. Mm. Our kingdom is beautiful, beautiful. But evil people want to destroy it. It's not there. It's not there. It's not there. It's and what do you mean by that? We cannot let him die like a fowl. People are destined to die in different ways. It was Afemi Funia's fate to die in his sleep. I totally disagree with you. He was murdered, and you and I know that very well. I know nothing with you. Then you heard his song. He saw the killer escape. What I'm saying is that I am going to get to the logical conclusion of this case. And I will never cease from reminding the king of his promise to the youth. You never can tell. It could be you or me tomorrow if this killer is not apprehended and punished. Our kingdom is beautiful, beautiful. But evil people want to destroy it. The 
Did you understand any of the things I told you? About Ezedibia's rants? Yes, I did. Ezedibia does not rant. He speaks the words of the oracle. Ezugo, as far as I am concerned, you did not wrong him in any way. So why would you be afraid of his proclamations? With a woman, a strong woman like me beside you, you don't have to be afraid of anything. Believe me. So what are we talking about now? Um, Afame Funa was against the marriage between her son and Douglas's daughter. And now he's no more. So what are we still waiting for? I can't believe that you're rejoicing at the death of a fellow human being. Is this what desperation has led you to? Isuko. We rejoice when people who stand in the way of our progress die. Okay. Take Ulisse, your brother, for example. How did it go? Well done. Have you done it? Very well. I killed him with your bare hands. Are you sure? Very sure. Ladima, my wife will be very happy to hear this news. Bad day dream or what? Was I? I wouldn't know. With the look on your face, I can bet. Take a break then. Go somewhere out of this town and get refreshed. I'm surprised that vacation is not a part of a lifestyle for most people here. Who goes chasing after rats when his house is burning? Father, I understand. I do understand that a lot has been going on in this kingdom. But that's the more reason you should go out and take a break. <sighs> Sorry. Oh, uh, it's okay. It's totally up to you. I'm just here to inform you that SADB requested I should visit him. Well, uh, he talked casually. I guess there is nothing to worry about. I only thought it wise to mention it to you before going to visit him. Let me know the outcome. 
It's okay, Father. I will leave you. But uh, I think it's good you go in and take a proper nap. Okay? <clears throat> okay. I will leave you now, Father. Zambale, Zambale, hai. Zambale, Zambale, hai. Zambale, Zambale, hai. hai. Stop it! What's going on? Zambale, Zambale, hai. Zambale, Zambale. I want my freedom. No. I said, I want my freedom. This is how much I can go. I'm damning the consequences. And I'm setting myself free. Freedom from what? If I may ask. No. Freedom from the burden I have borne in my heart for years. I have never known peace. I have never known peace since... Since that crown was placed on my head. The last thing I want is for anybody to blackmail me for my mistakes, especially my wife. Is... Is Lolo trying to blackmail you? No. No, my wife told you things and you know it. He told you things. And soon the whole world will hear about it, too. So... Before the world gets to hear it, before everybody hears about it, I want to come clean. I want to tell the world how I schemed myself onto this throne. How I schemed myself onto the throne by killing my uncle. Maybe that's what it will take to see that the tradition of the glorious Dice is not neglected. Yes. Igwe, look at you. You are supposed to be my very wise friend. But look at you. Do you truly understand the consequences of admitting to committing murder? <laughs> Igwe, you will not only lose the throne, but you will be sent on exile for life, or worse still, stoned to death. Is it not better for me? Is it not better for me than, than to lead the entire kingdom to destruction? Igwe, is it not obvious that you have not been thinking? What has your age-long friend? I will help you as usual. Look around you. I mean, look around the kingdoms around you. They are beginning to abdicate, do away with unfavorable traditions. Men and women commit atrocities and their deities do not cough. Yes, Ibe. let's look at it like this. If our oracle were as potent as we fear it to be, why is it that you are still sitting on the throne? After taking the life of the rightful successor. If I were you, 
I will allow your son to marry a woman of you. Just like your wife have been campaigning. It will do you so much good. Whose fault is it? That old Sita Dima disappeared into thin air with his daughter. Is it yours? I'm surprised at your question. Is this not what everyone has always wanted from me? That's how it is, my son. That has always been the expectation. Uh, but you see the changes coming, you know, all of a sudden. Huh? The other day you just couldn't bear the this stand of the girl. You couldn't you couldn't accommodate her. You couldn't you couldn't look at her. But now look at it. You are not only all over the girl, but also planning for what? Marriage. Not easy. Father, since tradition cannot be disobeyed. Yes. Things has to happen at some point. I agree she is not totally what I wanted as a wife, but um, she promised to make some adjustments. Okay. Oh, yes. And to be honest with you, she is not that bad. I guess I'm the one being too judgmental. I mean, people have to be themselves. That she loves to party and all does not mean she can make a good wife. We must all realize that as far as uh, the royal household is concerned, every one of you must adapt, must tailor him or herself to the standard of royalty. Father, mm -hmm. there, there is where the adjustment will apply. Good. So we get to that. And uh, so, welcome to the world of marriage, son. Thank you so much. Yes. Thank yes. You. Uh, I wish you the best of luck. Thank you, Father. I appreciate you. <laughs> well, uh, let me fix some things inside. I'll be back soon. Something is seriously wrong with our land. We cannot all pretend that it is normal or that things are going as usual. Certainly not. First, Alpha Mefuna died in his sleep. And today, Akachi's corpse was found lying in the middle of the road. Like the carcass of a common fowl. Sad. Really sad. No. Let us not pretend that these events are natural. We have to act in the chain. We need to act naturally for now. What do you propose? Uh, I would have suggested that we consult this DDB. But our free sent, you are not be speaking well on this kingdom. Doesn't it still boil down to the fact that something is terribly amiss? 
See, we have more troubles on our hands than we realize. Sure. Let's use our hands. Zambale, zambale, hai. Zambale, zambale, hai. You can do this, Ozo. Yes, I can. There is no going back on this. It has to happen. Zambale, zambale, hai. What is going on? Are they here? Just excuse us for a moment, please. Are they here? Excuse us for a moment. Oh, leave. Go, 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 go. Leave it and go. Come back. Uh, you mean? Just, just, just a minute, please. Thank you. What's, what's happening? I'm worried. I'm anxious. Are they here? What's going on? Prince Uzodema is not picking his phone. I called the queen, but she said she couldn't talk. That she would call me back. Did you manage to speak with him? Not at all. I've tried severally to reach him. He's not taking his call. He's not calling me back. I don't know what is going on, mother. I don't know. <sighs> Let it not be what I'm thinking. I mean, he cannot abandon me today, mother. He, not today. No, 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 no. Lolo knows better than to allow that to happen. He does not. Besides, we had everything sorted out. Did we not? <sighs> mother, Prince Uzodema had his doubts about me and this marriage. He was practically forced into it. Let it not be that... He ran away at the last minute. Mom, look at it. Maybe he played along all this while. Only Will you shut up. up? Will you shut up and allow me to think for a moment? Mom, please, don't shut me up. I know what I'm saying. The shame. The shame. What would people say? I said shut up. Shut up! Hello? Oh. Okay. What is it? Are they here? What happened? What, what, what did they tell you? Talk to me, mother. What is it? What is going on? Yeah. Hello, as you go. My guests are getting impatient. Is there any problem? What? Let's go. What did you say? Let's go. What did you just say? Honey, um, Lolo just called me now to inform that Princess Odema just had an accident. I just got the same message from Ezuko. Well, he broke a couple of bones and severely fractured his skull. Doctor, that's horrific. Is he going to be okay? Well, um, at the moment, honestly speaking, we can't tell. But we're hopeful. Doctor, please talk to me. What are his chances? <laughs> like I said, we are hopeful. Due to the traumatizing injury he sustained in his skull, he might have complete or partial amnesia. Not to scare you. Not to scare you. He's in safe hands. He also stands a chance of not using that leg again. Yes. 
Well, I'm sorry, I'll have to leave you to. I have other patients to attend to. Please, let me call you back. Hi, Dad. Young lady, come back here. Where on earth have you been? Huh? I thought you were at the hospital, but I just got to know that you've not been there for days. Well, what's going on? Dad, I needed some time to clear my head. Of course, it's a difficult time for everybody, especially you, but we need to be there for Prince and of course for Lola. Hmm? A visit to the hospital once in a day is not a bad idea. To what end, Dad? Excuse me? What do you mean by to what end? Dad, what do you expect me to do? The brains stand the risk of partial or complete amnesia. He might never walk again. As we speak now, he is on a prolonged unresponsiveness. So that I ask again, what do you want me to do? Would you? Well, it's a delay in his awakening that um, brought about the general anesthetic. I'm so worried. I am worried because it's been days and it's still like this. Do you have children? I cannot lose my child. No, you won't. I can't lose him. We're trying our best. No. He's in safe hands. No. Your best is not good enough this moment. Try something different. I can't lose my son. I can't lose him. Well, um, ma'am, I think I have other questions to attend to. I'll be my I'll come back and check on you later. Thank you. Thank you. Our kingdom is beautiful. So moving on from where to where. Are you insane? Huh? Being insane means holding on to something that is no longer valid. Prince is no longer valid. So my daughter has to move on with her life. Please do not rub my name in the mud. Do you hear me? What, what, what's all this madness? What, what is going on? The only mud I see here is giving out our daughter to a cripple. Be he a prince or not. A cripple? So who is talking about anyone being crippled here? Who? It's more than likely to be so. And the earlier our new comes to terms with that, and move on with her life. Be better for her and for all of us. Really? So, your friend Lola, what do you have to say to her? Answer me. Wouldn't your ears tremble to hear that I chose my friend for our daughter? I owe her no explanation whatsoever. Really? It's obvious you do not have an iota of loyalty in you. The least you and your daughter could do at this point in time is to stand by this family. That's the very least you could do. Dad, there's no time for that. Yes. It's not like the prince wanted me home at all. He was judgmental about my lifestyle. I had to make some sacrifice, forfeit the things that give me joy just to be with him. This marriage was never meant to be anyway. I have nothing else to tell both of you. Nothing. I can see that something is wrong with you.
he still hasn't woken up. Anyways, the Igwe wants you back at the palace. He has sent his aide to take care of the prince while you're gone. I cannot leave the prince with an aid. If Amonuju can come here, fine. I will confidently leave him in her care. Please tell the king that. Sorry. No, no. You may not like this. But I need to tell you. What is it? A message came to the palace that the Oyebu cheese have cancelled the marriage proposal. Yes, they have. This place. A hospital. Just relax and wait for the doctor to come. Oh, son. Wow. Son. You are weak. What happened? You're fine, okay? Everything will be fine. You will be fine, all right? Let me get the doctor, okay? Oh, thank God. Doctor! Relax. You should relax. Zambale, Zambale, hi. Uh, Your Majesty. Now that it, it is official that Douglas Onyebuchi's daughter is no longer interested in the marriage, as far as I'm concerned, it is a good omen that they called off the marriage in the first place. Obviously, the courts have seen that the roads some of us were bent on traveling had nothing but thorns. And who are these people you are referring to? You better put your tongue back to your mouth if you have nothing reasonable to say. I never mentioned any names. But who the cap fits, let him wear it. After all, were you not the one who masterminded so-called marriage in the first place? The problem with you is that you are backwards and senseless. I will not let you drag me down. It is better for me to be backward and senseless than to have no dignity left in me whatsoever. Enough, both of you. Enough. Must you continue? Every day, you must find something to disagree about and thereupon quarrel about it. Hey, but I mean, people quarrel. But if you must quarrel, why don't you do it respectfully? Igwe, Igade, thank you for that word of wisdom. See, my suggestion is that everything about Uzodema's marriage should be put on hold. We cannot be talking about his life and marriage while he's battling with his life in the hospital. Let us wait until he's sound and healthy before we start doing that. Yes, Chimaro. That's uh, some wisdom there. I have actually thought about the same thing. Um, elders, we, until Prince Uzadima is healed, recovered, and 
brought back to this palace. All talks about his marriage will cease henceforth. What are you expecting? That he will accept you back as soon as you run back to him? Why not? Because you left him for another man, Ujumwa. That's why. Fine. I left him for another man. And I decided to leave that other man for him. Can you just stop talking because you really sound stupid right now? Clara. <laughs> he will come back to me anyway. He doesn't have a choice because I know that he is helplessly, helplessly in love with me. Mm -hmm. You know, man, he's just trying to protect his ego. But he will definitely come back. I mean, the fact that he doesn't have any woman in his life yet shows that he's hoping to have me back. And who told you he doesn't have another woman in his life? Does he? Look, Ujumwa, you need to realize two things. One, the world does not revolve around you simply because you're privileged. Secondly, there are loads of women out there who will kill to have the man you threw away. Excuse me? When you started this game, I warned you, didn't I? Now look at you. You've lost at both sides. But not to worry. With some cash to throw around, another man will fly into your fishing net. But as for Nana, forget about it. Because another woman who places more value on him has taken him. So, see you around, girlfriend. And good luck with your new vision. You mean she hasn't been here since I got admitted? She was here only twice, and that was it. The next thing I heard was that she had called off the marriage proposal. Son, I am sorry. I'm sorry. I never knew she would behave this badly. Sorry. It's okay, mother. It's fine. It's not the end of the world. The important thing is that I'm alive. Yes, my son. It's okay. About the prince. Why are you crying? Her life but can't work. I don't know how I'm going to live with myself. I don't. Mm. Our son is alive and he's recovering. We should be grateful for that. It's so good to rub salt on the injury. Ronujo has abandoned him at this time. Honestly, if anybody had told me that Catherine would betray us, I wouldn't have believed. Betray you? Mm -hmm. 
I was never part of that arrangement, you remember? She will pay. She will surely pay for this shame and heartbreak. She will. Why don't you get some wisdom, woman? You will not engage in that battle if I were you. Since these people have moved on, you let them go on. I mean, move on. Move on. Then what happens? Woman, that marriage was not meant to be. What further proof do you need? Look, you've done everything you possibly could, but you failed. Now get off. Get off this case. Leave it for me and the elders. Okay? Somebody, somebody. supposed to be. Okay, and she caught this accident on the way to pay her diary. So it happened. <laughs> See, I don't really know you, but you're taking this so lightly, unlike all the people who do. I really don't know what I was supposed to do. Shatter my head on the wall to show how hurt I am. Well, unfortunately, as you can see, I cannot work. So it's not an option. Honestly, you are hilarious. I mean, come on, we're talking about a broken engagement and your heart. A wise man once said that it is better a broken engagement than a broken marriage. I try to see the positive side of everything. Impressive. I admire your outlook to life. Thank you. We have talked about me all day. Do you mind if we talk about you a little bit? <laughs> about me? What would you like to know? Can we talk about how you got to share this horrible space with me? <laughs> well, the story began with me falling over a moving van and I broke my neck. Oh, so sorry. So... <sighs> what were you doing on a moving van? <laughs> story of my life. I am a cinematographer and I'm based in Canada. But I came back here for a movie shoot. And I had this particular tricky scene I was filming and it required me being a spider woman. So something led to another and here I am. So sorry, okay? Maybe um, you have to engage the services of um, a spider man to teach you his tricks. <laughs> so that it would repeat itself another time. Trust me, there won't be another time. I totally support that. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I should be asking you that. What are you doing? You know, kissing me was your hobby. Now listen to me. I don't see why I should be kissing you now that you're another man's wife. Another man's wife? <laughs> <laughs> That's a joke of the century. I mean, who is feeding you with those lies? <sighs> Let me guess. Someone called Clara, I suppose. Come on. Mm -hmm. Stop. Why are you here? Okay, fine. I know I messed up a little bit, 
when I asked you to give me some space. But hey, sweetie, you can move through all that we had and shared away just like that. Come on, baby. Now listen to me. What we had and shared and dead the very moment you got married to another man. I did not get married to any freaking man. And please stop saying that to me, please. Stop it. What is this? Okay, fine. It, it was my mother's idea to get married to the prince. Her idea, not mine. I made it clear to her that you are the one I want to be with. You're the one I want to spend the rest of my life with. You are no other. Please. I am with someone else. That's all I can tell you. Clara. That backstabbing opportunist. How can you tell What does she have? What can she possibly offer you? Respect. Loyalty. Good behavior. And most importantly, love and peace of mind. I know you're with her just to spite me. I am sorry if you feel I betrayed you by choosing no other than your friend. But trust me, it is real. What she and I share is real. And we are hoping it lasts a very long time. From what I heard, um, Prince Uzodima is a refined gentleman. And I think you're very lucky to have him. Given your own bad attitude, and I hope he tolerates you like I did. <laughs> Stanford University is one of the top universities in the US. Oh yes, yeah. so I heard. <laughs> I was supposed to go do my master program in the US, but I woke up one morning and I said, to hell with U.S. Canada is home. Oh yeah, a proud Canadian citizen speaking. A very proud one. That was the only chance I had to go to the U.S. But I blew it off. Trust me, you'll find another reason to go there soon. Hmm. Hopefully. So your turn. Truth or death. Truth. Uh, uh, I have never been to a club before. <laughs> Ouch. Sorry. What? I'm sorry. I didn't know that my truth would be this hilarious. You've never been to a nightclub? Wow. That's rare. I mean, what did you say you are again? A priest? I've never been to a nightclub because I do not fancy it. Not that I am against it. <laughs> Mom, look at her. Look at them. Can you even believe this? Why am I not surprised? I never really liked her. She was my best and closest friend. The closest. Now look at her all over my man. You know, some time ago, she told me to move on. That Nana has moved on with another woman. Little did I know that she was referring to herself. You know what? If Nana could betray you like this, I think you're better off without him. No, Mom, I disagree with you. 
Mama is just doing all these things to get my attention. Well, good for him because he got it. As for Clara, I will show her who runs this town. I will. You? Listen, I don't know what you're planning, but please leave them alone. Leave them alone, you say? Then what happens to me? I should stay without a man? Oh, never! Oh, come on. Come on! Don't be silly. A thousand men will kill just to have you. Do you really know who you are? A thousand men, not Nana. He loved me unconditionally. He overlooked my flaws and never made an issue out of them in our relationship. Mother, he's a good man. He's like none that I have ever known. Okay. If he was that good, why then did you leave him? Really? Did you just ask me that question? Mom, did you just ask me that question? Well, if you must know, I left him because of you. I left him because you put all this stupid, useless idea of becoming the queen into my head. And now look at me. No, take a very good look at me, mother. Look at me. Listen, I am sorry things turned out this way. Honestly, I meant well for you. Ononuju. 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 I want to be left alone. Leave my room. Zambele, Zambele, hai. Zambele, Zambele, hai. Zambele, Zambele, hai. Zambele, Zambele. Zambele, Zambele, hai. Zambele, Zambele, hai. Zambele, Zambele, hai. Zambele, Zambele. than I would have thought. Uh, but he's still on a wheelchair. Eh? Who knows about his mental state then? Huh? Who knows? Huh? Does he know who he is at that now? Uche, huh? don't make such a joke about the prince. You see, if he loses his mind, for instance, what happens to the kingdom when he's ready to take over for his father? <laughs> we will either remember with a mad king or none at all. Uche, I don't see this as a joke. I don't see that. You don't mess with it. He said, no, I Maduka. don't like this. He said, Maduka. I don't like this. Put your weapon. Put your weapon. Put your weapon. Put your 
muerto. Mucho juego. Mucho muerto. Mucho juego. It is the right time for Ross to resume the search for Usidatema and his family. It's a sanity, not an important factor to be considered before we take any action. What do you mean by his sanity? It was said that since his accident, he lost his sanity. Who said it? Eh? Are you not tired of saying things you're not sure of? It was said that he lost his sanity since he had the accident. And that was why the doctor's daughter tried to leave him. Leave him. Chimarok, I will advise that you check your facts and be sure they are right before you speak. I want to assure you here and now that there is absolutely nothing mentally wrong with my son, the prince. Take that back to your cohorts who have decided to create rumor out of it. Back to the issue at hand. I agree that we should resume the search for Osita Dima and his family. But there is a little hitch there. The prince was originally led to believe that Chifo Nyobuchi's daughter was his traditionally chosen wife. Now that we are searching for Osita Dima and his daughter, if and when we do find the daughter, how do we go back to the prince to tell him that she actually is his betrothed? Your Majesty, I think we should leave that to those of us who have been busy collecting bribes in order to save Chifunibuti's daughter to the prince. This is not the time to point accusing fingers. Uh, he had, no doubt, what he will. It is in your case to speak with your son about yeah. this. He's not even remorseful for his actions. <laughs> Maduka, don't start with me this do not try it. Always proud. Listen, real men apologize for their actions. And that's what you should be doing. Enough. Enough, gentlemen. Enough. Huh? This is not time for us to tear at one another. This is time we should sue for peace. Um, you've rightly said it. I will find time and speak with my son. Try to put the facts straight and right with them. In the meantime, the search for Osita Dima and his family resumes. <laughs> My friend, how are you? Are you okay? Oh, do you want food? Good. Oh, God. Get him food. Oh. 
I know your understanding is still intact. I will help you. Okay? I will help you. I said it before, and I'm saying it again. There is absolutely no way my son would marry from that wretched family. Even though he sees where they are hiding, of wasting their lives. Have you not learned from your mistakes? Have you not? Ola, tell me. How did your billionaire family thing go with you? How? Ola, you keep talking about someone being wretched. Tell me. Was your father a millionaire when I married you? Did that stop tradition? Ezugu, nobody forced you to marry me. It was your decision. And so Uzadima must be allowed to take his own decision. Why do you keep interfering? Because he is my son. Okay, fine. Onoluju did not work. That does not mean that there are no other worthy brides out there. I will surely get my son a wife from the elites of the state. No, you won't. I say you won't. I have let you control things when I did. But from now on, you either have to shape up ship out back down or you do your worst i won't let you control the affairs of this kingdom or this family any longer do you hear me we shall see that <laughs> Hmm. Prince Uzadima. I see you finally got out of the hospital. With a helping hand, too. Aren't these people in the hospital very kind? Ononoju, what happened? Why did you abandon me? <laughs> Why did I abandon you? You know, you're brave. That was one quality I admired in you. Your braveness. It's unfortunate that life has made you a helpless cripple. Poor Prince Osadema. Life wouldn't have been that harsh if I wasn't on my way to come marry you. Have you ever thought of that? Of course, I have. But then again, maybe it's life's own way of telling us that it wasn't supposed to be. Have you thought of that? Keep smiling. I think it's a great medicine to heal you. But um, I smile each time I remember how God saved me from one of the greatest mistakes of my life. And that was getting married to you. Because you are never worth anything let alone being my wife. You helpless cripple. How no. dare you talk to me? No. For a helpless cripple. You've got some pride and arrogance left in you, don't you? How dare you say that to my daughter?
And how is this for a helpless cripple? Just so you know, she is my special friend. I never remade. And she is a million times what you will never be. It had nothing to do with you. And you know it. Since it had nothing to do with me, why did you not tell me the truth? Why did you fool me all this while? To test my loyalty, I guess? But I have never questioned your loyalty. This issue is deeper than you can see. All I ask, give me the chance to explain to you. Please. I really don't want to listen to your explanation. I don't want to get entangled with your traditional issues. We are friends. And I see nothing wrong with you knowing a bit of my story. Uzodima, like I said, I don't want to get involved. Listen, all I ask is for us to be honest to each other. As friends, is that too much to ask of a friend? Not too much at all. I'm sorry for everything, okay? I apologize again. So sorry for what happened. Okay? Apology accepted or denied? What do you think? Thank you so much for accepting my apology. <laughs> Look, we have not known each other for too long, but I must say that I value this friendship that I wouldn't want anything to destroy it. I feel the same way. What do you say to a lunch with my family on Sunday? Um. Are you sure it is wise for you to bring a woman to the house in the midst of these issues? I am not forbidden from having or bringing in a female friend that I'm sure of. Oh, <laughs> right. So, lunch with you on Sunday sounds great. Fantastic. <laughs> I'll pick you up around 10. Oh, let's say 11.30. What do you think? Cool. Thank you. <laughs> Sunday. See you on Sunday. She was mm -hmm. honestly, I'd rather die than allow you destroy all my efforts at getting at this funny wife. Then you better get prepared to die. <laughs> It's all over, brother. It's all over. Give up already because I already know the truth. All of it. Truth. Yes. What? What? What truth? What truth are you talking about? You may need to see that. Because I see your legs shaking already. They said many more will die. Sorry, I don't follow. Who said? The owners of the land. Prince Uzadima, the last time I spoke with you, it was revealed to me that you alone can save this land from the ruin that is headed for. As a baby, why me? I mean, how am I supposed to do that? 
When you were born, the glorious dice was cast. That same dice named your betrothed. The same dice that chose Ononuju Oyebuchi, you mean? Not Ononuju Oyebuchi. Ononuju Oyebuchi was never your betrothed. The dice never chose Ononuju Oyebuchi as a wife for you. Excuse me? You had me well. I know have been made to be confused and doubts in you. So the man is to be careful. I am the mouthpiece of the gods. I will not and will never lie to you. And I will not deceive you about your destiny. Hmm. Listen to me. Onanuju Onyebuchi is your mother's blood to draw some wealth to herself. To step up the societal ladder of influential people. Hmm. Why am I not so surprised to hear that? I mean, the way she went with the married thing was rather too desperate. Listen and listen carefully. Your betrothed and her family left this land. Where they are, how they are, no one knows. Listen carefully. Your betrothed must be confirmed dead before you can be allowed to marry another wife. Is it even? How do I find this family? No. It is not in your place to look for them. The elders and your father, they know their duties. But you, it is your duty to stop the calamity that will befall this very land should you marry the wrong woman. I do not want to marry her. End of matter. It's simple as that. It is with wisdom that one removes the fly on the scrotum. Yes, to some people, the union must hold. To somebody, it is a matter of life or death. She can do anything just to make sure that she gets whatsoever she wants. And you know who I am referring to. Your mother. Ezeribe, what do you want me to do? Help me with your wisdom, please. Are you ready to take the risk of your life? As no balan kete kwa lepwe. Then, 
If you are unsized, yes, you can go. You faked the accident. Was that what you said? Father, I accepted to put my life at risk in order to save this kingdom from the mother and the calamity she was spent on bringing on all of us. As a living God, the revelation that John Uju will not marry a disabled man, even if he was a prince. Son, you went too far. What if you had died? And what if the calamity befell this? And I'm mostly disappointed in you. You are the king of this kingdom. The king of Utsute Oshia New Gold. You are supposed to be in charge, aren't you? I know. I know, son. I know. I have been weak. Yes. I apologize for that. I have been weak, but I did not choose to be weak. I had no option following my past mistakes. I was blackmailed into supporting your marriage with Amonichu. No, 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 no. Uh, it's a good, because, because. Don't just go there. This is not necessary. My mother claims this is a discussion between my father and I. Stay clear from me, please. Okay. Your uncle only said was supposed to take over the kingship from his father following his death. Kingship as a matter of fact was to be in their family for another three generations before it came back to us. But I would not have it so. No. I needed to be king. I was desperate enough to be king. So I masterminded his death. The suggestion came from your mother here. Ulisse had a son who was supposed to take over kingship from him. But the boy, the boy lived outside this town. He lived in another city. No one knew about him. It was my plan to have him taken out taken out of the way. The boy failed to come home to lay claim on his rightful kingship following his father's death. Consequently, I was crowned king. Mordred, you killed your own brother just because of a throne that would have come to you naturally. How desperate can one be? I know. I deserve every backlash. No! You don't just deserve a backlash, you deserve something worse. I'm out of here. Did you come in here? Who opened the gate for you? It's my harmless friend. How are you? Your friend? 
a madman, your friend. Who makes friends with a madman? Better to be with a harmless madman than to be a murderer, isn't it? Why you look flower? Get out! Come follow me, let me get you food. Right? Your father did not hear you. You can speak? Huh? You might have blind the king. But he did not hear you. What is he talking about? Get out of here! God! Wait, wait! Who are you? My name is Obika. Let Olisa's supposed lost and forgotten son. Please, my son. What did I do? Eh? Is it money? I have money. I can give you money. How much do you want? My son, talk to me. How much do you want? I will give you money. I have money. <laughs> My son, please talk to me. How much? Ah, Obika. Thank God you are here. You know them. Please talk to them. How much do they need? Obika, talk to me. What's going on? Father, you are too weak to be the next king. I want to be the next king. Bika, what are you talking about? Are you insane? You want to be king. Bika, you cannot be king before your father. You can't be king unless I'm dead. That is if I will let you live your life. Go oh, here. Bika, what are you doing? Yes, I killed him and make it look like an accident. I don't want to appear from nowhere. Given that I've been away for so long, so I left. Hoping that the people would look for me, but they did not. I came back and I, and I observed that another person is already on the train. When I came back, I did not know much. I did not know anybody in this town. So I had a plan to disguise myself so I can observe things and plan on how to get by the throne. That was after I had a rumor that Tezuko must have plotted my father's death. He had a rumor from me. People talk, you know? And after Mefune confirmed it, he told me. And he's in support of me disguising myself in order to observe things. Yes, he was my eye and my ears in this palace. That was when he started avoiding me and withholding some information from me. The day I found out who Zodema is your son, I decided to kill him because he no longer served a purpose. So? So it was you? You killed him? Yes. I killed him. Now you can know what desperation can do. Don't you? Akachi. Akachi was foolishly advocating for Afumefila's death to be investigated. Zambale, Zambale, hai. Now you understand how desperate I am. I take out anyone on my way. So what will you do to us? Kill all of us and take over the throne? I could have killed you. Because I follow you everywhere you go. Then, 
Then I thought to myself, you're not really the threat. But the one on the throne is. Unfortunately, I did not kill you because you moved with your guards. That if the same oracle let you have the throne after you must have plotted my father's death, why won't he let me? Well, practically, he did not kill your father. You did. And maybe that was why he wasn't punished. Just maybe. I understand your predicament. I know how desperation feels. I've been there. But can't you say this is the end of the road for you? You are headed nowhere. Not even to the throne. I want the throne. I haven't come this far to give up. I can never give up. Not with all the blood on your hands. You will not survive the throne, even if you get it. Listen, son. We will give you a large sum of money to start your life afresh. We will make you very comfortable. More comfortable than the throne. Because if you get there, the youths will stone you to death. So whatever it is, name your prize and it will be done here and now. Zambale, Zambale, hai. 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 Leaders of the traditional council will decide his case tomorrow. Oh, that's nice. Just that I'm worried that he might tell them that we originally plotted to kill him. No, 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 no. The words of a murderer will not be taken seriously. <sighs> but what's important is that we must go and appease the oracle. The only difference between us and uh, Ubika is that we did the planning and he executed. Well, I... I'm sorry. Yes. To what do I owe this late night call, Catherine? Lady Catherine, not Catherine. Remember? Whatever. What do you want? Well, my daughter regrets her actions. She was too shocked and needed to clear her head. Anyway, how much will it cost to bring your son back to her? Are you so poor that the only thing you have is money? Cut off my son. What nonsense. Who is she not to take my calls? The idiot that sings my praise for a chicken change. <laughs> the joke is finally on you. And I hope you're enjoying it. Hmm? And you, Uju. I hope you have learned your lessons. You have lost two great men due to your greed and foolishness. 
My dear, in life, you must learn to remain humble and focused. Stop allowing your mother to push you around. You're an adult. Be a responsible adult. It's for your own good. Unfortunately, it's all too late. Too late. But evil people want to destroy it. Lunch was great, Your Majesty. Thank you so much. You're welcome. I'm so surprised to see you. Honestly, I didn't know what we were talking about. Oh yes, mother. I thought it was bringing her to see my plan. Yes, it makes sense. Huh? Son, she will come again. Huh? Your Majesty. Greetings. What is it? I am in the middle of something with my family. I'm sorry, Your Majesty. There's an urgent need for you to see the leader of the messages sent in search for city demand. And it's fine. It's an urgent need. We got information that was in the mind. What is it? Alright, so. He wants me to come and fly them overseas to search for who sit at the man with me. Right? But that is why you should come and speak with him yourself. Your Majesty, I'm sorry to interrupt you. But this who sit at the man with me. Oh, yes. He is the supposed father to my betrothed, the one I told you they were trying to find. But you did not tell me his name is Osita Dima Nguizo. Does it really matter? Not that you were much interested in our traditional issues. Um, Your Majesty, I don't know if this makes any sense. But I know Osita Dima Nguizo. He is originally from this kingdom. He stays overseas, Canada to be precise. Canada? Yes, Canada. And he's my father. It wasn't a bad revelation, was it? That I am your betrothed and I have to get married to you? You tell me. We are good friends, Martha. Even though we pretend about it, we both have feelings for each other. And you know it. This is one of the greatest news I have ever heard all my life. Listen. I don't know, Uzo. This is more complicated than you think. My father's story about this kingdom and its people is not a pleasant one. And I guess that is why he did not mention anything to me about being betrothed to a prince. I understand, but what do we do now? This is our destiny matter. Look at how we both met and became friends. The universe is totally in support of our union and is clearly the case. My parents would never be in support. What about you? What does your heart tell you? Forget about Fate, forget about traditions, forget about your family. What do you want? Ma. 
matter. Matter. I find it so difficult to believe that you couldn't see she was the one. Princess Adema, don't forget that I am only but a mouthpiece of the gods. I can only say what I have been asked to say. Have you forgotten what I told you? The oracle will not speak to us concerning him. That is a punishment for us. I am clueless as far as that was concerned. My father believes she will come back, but I doubt that. Why do you have doubts? Why shouldn't I? We were just friends. Yes. But this is a different issue now. <sighs> you can't help me too, right? Oh. Princess Adema, I wish I could. Unfortunately. Everything is out of control. Besides, I am not the one that brought her to you in the first place. There is nothing I can do at this point to help. Let me advise. Go home. It is said that destiny may be delayed but can never be changed. Go home. Allow nature to complete what it has started. You know, he's been coming around for three days now. Why are you punishing him? It's not like any of this was his making. I already told him to give me some time. I really don't know why he keeps coming. How much more time do you need? You're going back to Canada pretty soon. Hold on, talk to me. What is really your concern here? Is it your parents stand or how you feel about him? Uh, I am not sure. You know, I thought as much. But all the same, it's actually embarrassing for both of you that he keeps coming here without you letting him in. So, I was just thinking maybe should check you out of this place into another hotel. That way, when he realizes you're not here, he'll stop coming. Martha. I thought you've gone back to Canada already. I was told you checked out of your hotel. No, Uzo. I asked you to give me some time to think, but you weren't giving me enough space that I needed, so I had to check into another hotel. Oh, I see. That makes sense. Ah, Uzo. I'm sorry for giving you a hard time. I was just overwhelmed. And the truth is, I have given myself so many reasons why this shouldn't work. But each time I try, it just doesn't make sense. 
Martha, I'm not a strong believer in traditions and this betrothed thing. But our story changed that for me. Everything about us were predestined. You coming down to this kingdom at this time? You agreeing to the stunt of jumping from a moving van? <laughs> My planned marriage with Ononuju that failed. Me finding myself in the same hospital as you. We becoming friends. Everything was predestined. None was a coincidence. And let me tell you, we are in this together. We can't stop this, even if we try. Nobody can stop us. Do you agree? Yes. Yes, I agree. Even though I took decisions before informing them, my parents gave me their consent. Oh, they did? Yes, they did. I guess they've moved on from what happened to them here. They only wish that our union would change things around here. I mean, like how they treat the less privileged. That was the only issue my parents suffered here. I'm sure the perpetrators are no longer around to do more. Look, Martha, with you by my side, we will bring a whole lot of changes in this kingdom. Trust me, there is something I've been longing to do. Can you see a 
Zombie, zombie, hey. 